Good morning. Today we have with us Chef Nicholas Isnard. He is a Michelin-rated chef, and he's here in the Philippines to share his culinary secrets to local and foreign chefs here in the country. Good morning, and Good how morning. are you today? Fine. Great. So Michelin star rating, you know, a lot of people probably don't know what that is. Um, can you tell us what is a Michelin star rated restaurant or a Michelin star rated chef? What does it take to become one? I think it's just a, a good restaurant, no? Uh, one light uh, on, on the good restaurant, and um, that's it. It's the rating for the best restaurant around, the, around France or, or now uh, uh, in Asia, in uh, Hong Kong, Macau. Uh. Yes, I've been to a Michelin star-rated restaurant in Macau, um, but unfortunately we don't have one here yet in the Philippines. How hard is it to become uh, rated by, uh, by the Michelin group? The first one, you need to have the good product. This is more important. The first one is your plate, you know. Uh, for, for make a dish, you need to, to have the, the very good product. Not really expensive, but the good, very fresh one. Uh, the first one that you need to have for, for go to catch the first, uh, the first time in Michelin. To, when you have the product, you need to cook, uh, to try to cook uh, well, no? Uh, good cook, uh, good salt and pepper, uh, just a good balance. I think it's, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't want some Michelin, I, I try to do that, that's it. And you cook French food? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, of course. And um, tell us, what, what are your favorite ingredients and what is it about your food that makes it mm. special? First time I love food, uh, fish and meat, and my favorite uh, for work it's vegetable. You have a lot of color, you have a lot of texture, uh, it's very interesting to cook differently and uh, you can give the uh, different way with the, with the vegetables and uh, in France for example we have four seasons and uh, it's very important to follow the seasons for me and uh, every time when, uh, when you have one product finish uh, you have another one uh, arrive and uh, it's, it's a very, uh, it's a great pleasure uh, every time uh, when you have, for, for example, uh, asparagus uh, in spring print season and uh, the cherry is just uh, three weeks uh, by year mm -hmm. uh, after you have the, the scallops, for example, mm -hmm. uh, in France. We have the fresh scallops um, just uh, beginning October and finish in final of April. Uh, it's very important for, for us to, to follow the season here. Yeah. Okay, so the produce must be yeah, really good. The, it's the first one for me. Uh, first more important one. is the product. After, mm -hmm. if you have the good product, normally you can you can make the, the good cook. If you mm. have the bad product, it's very difficult to make a good food. No. Right. How do you think of the the dishes that that you that you create? I am a classical chef. You know, I am I am the I have the big foundation uh, classic. Uh, uh, from a long time, uh, you know, the, the, base, uh, the base of the cuisine in France is I don't want to, to forget the tradition and I want to mix with the uh, uh, old tradition fashion cuisine with the, with the modern and contemporary. I mix together uh, for, for make the, the, the tradition French food right. with the modern technical and, the, and contemporary design. Yeah. Can you remember the time when you first decided that you wanted to be a chef? When did it ten start? Years. When you were ten years yeah. old? Yeah, ten years old, and uh, I am very young. And I said to my parents, I want to be a chef. Did you go to school for it? Or yeah, yeah, of course. At yeah. uh, at 15, uh, 15 years old, uh, I begin to learn at school, and uh, step by step, uh, I go to work in different restaurants around France, and I learn step by step for 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 have the the good foundation for 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 be a chef. Yeah. My, my, my culinary father is uh, Gilles Goujon, uh, three-star Michelin, south of France. Uh, when I work with Gilles Goujon, I stay, I stay with him for three years. Uh, and for me, it's very, very important. Uh, it's a big time in my, in my career because uh, I have the, the big responsibility. How did you feel when you were first awarded your Michelin rating? Oh, yeah, I cry. I, I received the, uh, the news on, the, on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I, I drive at the moment and I need to stop. Uh, I am in the highway and I need to stop for, for crying, you know. <laughs> it's very important for, for, for me, for, for my family, for my friends, for, for everybody, for my team, of course, and, uh, and for the guests. How did it change your life as a, as a chef? Yeah, of course. No, no, not myself, but the, um, 
the look of the the other other um, other people. Mm -hmm. uh, the you, you, for example, uh, the, the reason that I am here, uh, for example, uh, if I haven't got the, the Michelin star chef, uh, the Michelin star, I'm not, I'm not here. And, okay, uh, on a personal note, what do you like to eat at home? What do you like to cook for yourself at home or your family? Simple food, yeah. simple food. The, what are your favorite ingredients? For work, sure, definitely it's the attitude because it's uh, the baby attitude because it's very technical to work. Are you familiar with Filipino food? It's my first time in uh, in Philippines and... Uh, I tried uh, the Sinigang, but uh, I try uh, one product. It's uh, uh, definitely uh, one product that I uh, that I love. It's calamansi, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried the first uh, the first day when I arrived in the, in Manila, and I said, "Wow, what is this citrus? Mm -hmm. My God!" And uh, I changed one recipe in the in the in the Mandarin Oriental Tivoli restaurant uh, with the with the calamansi uh, juice. Uh, I introduce in my recipe because I think it's a, it's a very good balance. It's a, it's a bit acid, um, sour, very nice. Same when I uh, I test the the sinigang with uh, with tamarind, tamarind flavor inside. Uh, it's very interesting for all the aspiring chefs out there um, that want to make it in the industry and they look up to you know of course chefs like you. What tips or advice can you give? I think it's very pretentious to to give the the, the message to other chefs, but just. Uh, just to be yourself and uh, and uh, just uh, think that you you give the pleasure uh, to the guest when uh, when you cook and you don't cook for yourself but for for the guest it's very important for me uh, uh, make uh, make the, the the cuisine it's um, uh, it's part of love you know you you need to to give your heart in the in the dishes this is more important that's it after the uh, all, all that you have around around that, it's a uh, uh, follow, follow no, no matter here. All right, thank you so much for talking to us this morning, and um, welcome to the Philippines, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Back to you, Amelin.